tuning on here we have a really cool interview with uh, Matty Matheson from Vice that dropped on Hypebeast that I thought was fairly interesting and very illuminating um, I've been a fan of his for a while and actually based on the shows on Vice mostly I think the first one I stumbled upon was maybe the video he had where he made his cheeseburger from back in the day um, I remember that being pretty cool because I remember that was the first time I figured I found out that you can actually make a beef patty for a burger patty without having a binder or anything in it he just said you have to make sure you have to get a good cut of meat, grind it yourself, make sure you don't trim the fat. I remember, I still remember it from now on actually, which is quite funny. But I remember seeing that and then, you know, he went on to do other little shows and stuff and just, you know, it came across really cool. It was sort of like a, a punk rock version of maybe Anthony Bourdain, right? A little bit more uh, loose with his uh, profanities, but just generally like a solid dude. And, you know, in the in the age of like pretentious cook show hosts or cooking program host he kind of was really somebody that i really connected with and i like the quote he's got here at the bottom in the hype beast this is a hype beast feature that says um food is imperfect fucked up and, and real he speaks about his experience um you know pivoting away from being a, just a quintessential chef and now he's like an all-encompassing kind of media personality which i thought was really uh, uh, interesting as well in the beginning he mentions like oh how he had the the there was a moment where he's restaurant partners were like questioning how many time you're spending away from the restaurant and that kind of led to him having to decide what to do next and i guess it must be quite scary because you know i'd imagine being a chef is similar to being like a bartender right once you do that your whole life you kind of have to just keep doing that right you don't really have time to pivot to something else unless you do like evening courses so you kind of get i don't want to say stuck in a loop but you've sort of like decided what area you want to kind of work in what kind of interest you want to what kind of area of uh uh, you know industry you want to work in so it's hard to kind of then pivot to do something else uh, because you feel as if like if you do and you go away you want to still have a job to come back to so just to decide to finally go in to become like you know an actual tv personality must have took a lot of guts so I definitely credit to him for that one but i thought this answer here was really cool um regarding a question when it comes up to messing up and it says duh, 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 with food so here yeah, this bit here he says um everyone fucks with your with, with you because you're so real why is it so important for you to show the real side of cooking he said um even if you took the best fucking chef at home eight percent of the time he's going to make something awesome but 20 percent of the time he's probably going to uh make something that's some dumb shit when i'm cooking at home i'm making some fucked up shit too and i don't give a shit i'm not a restaurant here's this perfect chicken and here's all this awesome stuff i'm showing people how to fucking cook all i want to be able to cook fucking people to fucking cook and that is it every everyone uh everything doesn't need to be precious it's precious that people try i just want people to have uh hope towards it um and it continues here it says i think cooking really builds self-esteem it's such a nice way to do something for somebody else for all for yourself humans are horrible to each other but somehow food can instantly make you feel better we're all fucking broken life is fucked i'm broken as fuck i'm mental case but making food generally makes me happy i'm also generally stressed it also generally stresses me out when i'm shooting these fucking videos sometimes and that's okay it stresses people out when they're cooking at home sometimes you can't find a spoon sometimes you can't find a bowl and that's the stuff the beautiful stuff the chaos and the where the fuck is the towel where the is this is somebody at home because nothing is perfect and i think that's definitely true and something that definitely lends itself to a lot of the a love that people have for the bon appetit channel they have the same sort of appeal right because they allow you to kind of peer into let's say people who are just above level of like a home cook right people who are kind of like semi quote unquote professional and you get to see how they struggle with recipes how they struggle with preparation their sort of in insecurities towards making things and whatever how they carry themselves and i think that's really um encouraged more people i would say just from a layman's point of view to start doing those things at home because beforehand when you wish to watch those kind of you know what's his name um i used to watch a lot of rick stein shows back in the day or saturday kitchen in the morning it was very you know very well edited very well prepared loads of preparation went into it many producers you just feel like a polished thing it's hard to really connect with it or sometimes those kind of french cuisine things like it was just way way above any sort of level anyone can do at home especially if you're just starting out but having these people on screen who kind of look like you sound like you um have maybe the same sort of interest 
suddenly makes things a little bit more accessible especially now during these times when you can't necessarily go outside to a restaurant and eat the things you want to eat i think a lot more people especially i think there's been a thing i've seen i've heard a lot more people baking and making bread and shit at home right that's because you know you have more time to spend at home you have access to the youtube and shit you can find people that you can connect with and the good thing about the internet as well is that you have many different people you can follow online who you can kind of um, you know see similarities in the approach or how they talk where they're from um, there's a plethora of people you're going to be able to find that you connect with there so I thought that quote was cool and then the other one I really liked was the quote about fixing up duh, 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 duh. Da, 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 or is it, uh, yeah so here um because it's famously known for being a bit of a hard party right he used to get on it back in the day he of course come up during the time where it was quite well no it was quite um encouraged to be like a rock star kind of chef right especially the kind of um independent restaurant kind of dudes that have tattoos and piercings and shit so he went through that whole shebang and was able to kind of because that's what you want right you want to be able to pull yourself out of it before life decides to go doo -doo -doo and turn your light switch off right that's what you want to do because sometimes that story never ends well so to be able to kind of realize look yourself in the mirror <laughs> i think in his case he actually didn't look himself in the mirror it was an intervention but you know you've still heard of people have interventions and nothing ever changes so for him to have an intervention and for it to change definitely goes to speak volume to his character and it says here you turn from your previous hard party lifestyle to being this industry figure with all these different projects along with becoming a family man can you tell me about the time that when you decided okay enough's enough i'm going to get back together i'm going to get it together and then uh, matty says yeah i was going to lose everything i got to the point where nobody even gave a fuck about me anymore like my friends that's really what clicked when i had my intervention nobody was there except for four people i was like where is everybody and they were like nobody cares if you do this or you don't so why the fuck do they need to be here and i was just kind of like okay that's even harsher than them them being here actually everyone's like it's up to you everyone was already done with me i was such a mess i was smart enough to not to completely throw it away when i just learned uh, then i just learned every day um every day is different every day is literally a blessing i just don't take advantage of things anymore we only got a certain amount of time in a day i'm in this position already uh where my year is fully booked i know every single day for the next fucking 300 year 300 days if i'm at that point every single day has to matter every single day i need to be moving forward every single day i need to be well aware of what's happening and to doing and doing what i need to do to make sure that my family is taken care of that's it that's all i want all i want is my kids to have a christmas every year i want my family not to worry about the stuff like that it's a wild thing i used to not I used, to, I used to not do anything for a day i would do enough drugs and alcohol and bullshit that i would sleep for a day and not give a fuck what did that get me nothing now i'm in a position where i could uh where i get what i give i work really fucking hard i'm very consistent i see results that's all that matters so i thought that was really really interesting really illuminated i think you should check it out um interview with matty matt tyson there i'll link in the show notes for you guys to see for yourselves